care about Disney, but I like to get it under the armpit. Okay? If he's, if he's really comfortable in here, his Jiu Jitsu is going to make him put his hands here. So I want to pry this arm out, out of the way. Okay? So when I'm doing my side control like this, I have this knee here, I can always get up to the side and use my knee to dig it out. Instead of having to use my own hands, like move this hand because then I'm using too much my own body to do that. Okay, so he has his hand here and stuff like that. I'll just get over to the side, dig that knee, that arm out, and then the biggest thing you want to do is here. He's trying to get his hand back in and I'm not going to let him because my hip's going to be there. Okay. Uh, also, I like to just bracing or hold it onto the shoulder so he doesn't have any space to go. My other elbow holding onto his waist so he's not able to move. And then this is a good, uh, pretty good spot. He does have his hand here that he can push and choke and everything on me, but this is a really good one, good place to start with. Okay, uh, do you want to try and move? Okay. So it's a really good, good strong base. Uh, if you want to level it up a little bit, you can crack the neck by pinching it like that, and then putting your shoulder into it as well. And that'll just make the person not want to move and get out of their ease. Okay? But you want to control somebody that's just being too, uh, uh, just going a little bit above and beyond, trying to push you and everything else, you can, you can, you can resuscitate back. Okay. Give him back, back, give him the same back. Okay. Uh, those are the little things that I like doing. Okay. But anyways, that, that's the starting the starting spot. Okay. Yeah. And then this end doesn't go in. Okay. So when I do the submission, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna use my whole body. So I'm a woman. I'm not very strong. So I'm going to have to use my whole body. I can't just pull him with my arm. Like somebody like Brandon may be able to go like this and have him turn to his side. So that's not going to work for me. So I'm ready to do submission. I'm going to grab his arm like this. I'm going to use my whole back to pull him to the side. Like this. Now I'm going to step over his head and I'm going to put my knee in his back. A lot of guys like to do this. But I'm, again, not a very strong person. So I have to make sure that I'm pushing into his back. Now, I'm going to take his first and turn him up. Keep turning. So now, I'm going to take his arm, and I'm going to put it to my chest. My other hand is going to secure this to my side. Again, if you're a strong guy, like Ian, you might be able to push using just your hand, but I'm not strong, no! so I have to turn my whole body. So this is here, I'm turning my whole body, and looking this way. If you're not a strong person, you have to use your whole body. So again, I'm here, turn.
Let's say I'm working with a guy like him. He's just going to launch me off or he's going to turn back his back to the mat. Yeah, and it allows me like... It will work for anybody and everybody. If I'm here, it's, it's, better way. If I'm here, it's really it's easy. Way. Push my leg. That's so really easy. But if I'm, if I'm here, it creates that frame so that you can't turn. Your way, your way. Yes. <laughs> yes. It, does, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem like it, like that big of a deal, but it, it is kind of holding your back. Just to the side. Is as your foot is here holding, you can see that it is kind of like applying pressure there, and it won't let you go back. See? But if I had it just down, it's easier because you have more space. So that one is pushing. So you're there, and you have your foot here, you can feel the pressure on the back, and it won't let you fly. So yeah, that, that's the preferred way, and that's how I do it, too. It just has more, more strength on it. And it depends, like, if you're a big guy, like you guys, I mean, it might work just fine for you, but then when you're rolling with somebody,